getting outside is a healthy thing, folks. Many of you know me. I really enjoy it. I don't mind walking in the areas like this, going back here in the woods, uh, especially when there's something interesting to find. At this particular location, we've had a bat house established here for quite some time. That big unit right there. Time to time, it uh, has bats. Other times, it doesn't. Right now, it happens to be highly occupied. Folks always wonder, how do you identify whenever a bat house is full? So we'll walk up to this, kind of show you, give you some ideas here. I can tell this is the fly zone, because all around the front, you can tell some things aren't growing as well. As thick as this vegetation over here because of all the guano, which is bat poop. Kind of smells a little intense too, high ammonia. But also, I'm gonna get up here really close and uh, kind of stop talking. I want you to listen as well, and you can hear these bats up in here. Hopefully you can hear that high-pitched chatter. Because of the glaze of the sun, it's kind of a little difficult to be able to point and show you the exact entrance in it. I'm gonna get behind a tree here, so that way make it a little bit easier for you to see. But pretty cool. These are bat houses. This is respectfully about 36 inches tall. It's a big square type of a house. It'll hold anywhere from 200, maybe 400 bats with ease. Great uh, ecosystem uh, steward to us. Take care, y'all.